Hey YouTube, welcome back to another night. We are having our 500 resin. Oh no, we don't have the 500 resin. Oh, what shall we do? Don't worry, I still have our uh, five condensed resin. Right, that's where our resin. Anyway, today we continue onward with our collection of crazy, beautiful, awesome emblem pieces that we are farming in the emblem domain, the autumn hunt. So now that we have our five condensed resin, here's exactly the reason why we are hunting for this specific set. We are trying to get the Raiden Shogun at an awesome, excellent, powerful 80 crit rate to 180 crit damage. Maybe even. I'm trying to be able to convert a little bit of our energy recharge that we have here into our crit rate and crit damage. I'm trying to be able to create an a Raiden Shogun that is very much a DPS carry. Fact of the matter is, we do definitely have a ton of investment in her skills so far. The fact that we were able to get her already built way before this was is kind of a miracle in of itself because I already farmed this particular domain for a month and I wasn't getting pieces like this. I think the best piece that I walked away with, honestly to tell you the truth, was the Electro Damage Goblet and it didn't even roll that good, which I'm trying to be able to get another one in this domain, hopefully, because they've been able to give me every other element in the game with crit rate and crit damage. One of them a four line start, by the way. No, I just need to be able to make sure that I get pieces that are a lot more better than the ones that we rolled so far. Trying to be able to get 40 crit rate on each piece. That means that I need to start searching for perfect pieces that are gonna give me the exact, you know, stats that we want. You know, stuff like that, that, and that, and that. Totally things that are just like these beautiful pieces right here, which I can't wait to roll. I'm so happy that I was able to get these two. Four line start, double crit. I am slothing at the mouth to roll these. But yeah, I need to be able to get a new flower. I need to be able to get a new feather and I need to get a new energy recharge. Preferably one with double crit just like this and hopefully it rolls better than what it did over here. Looking at you, flat attack. Looking at you. In short, we have some pretty good pieces that we've been able to put on her. I highly doubt we're gonna get another crit rate, crit damage circlet that's just like this but we shall see and hopefully we can be able to get all five slots a lot more upgraded than what they are right now it's going to be a lot of work which is why i took an entire week to see what it is i could be able to get so far the emblem has not let me down but i think that it's time to be able to go ahead and spend this red let's go so for anybody who doesn't know exactly what's going on let me go ahead and open this domain and i'll tell you exactly what we're doing so you see this piece right here? It was good stats, we keeping it. These guys, we go to the strong box and we reroll them. We don't need this whatsoever. Quite possibly the only ones that I'm actually going to keep is attack percent main stat with double crit damage value. If I can be able to get away with four line start, I will. And the reason for that is because I would like to have a good set for my Shenha. So it's kind of a good way to get pieces that are going to be a lot more beneficial to her in the long run. But I'm not gonna be keeping anything willy nilly. Even if it is a goblet that I may like, I don't think that it's worth keeping when it comes to this set. It would be for this set because this set is a little bit more flexible when it comes to who it could be able to go on than it would be for this one. Thank the Genshin Archon for the strong bot. We don't need no water. Let the mother burn. I just love the fact that he's actually Please. doing a ton of damage. It might be useless to put Raiden in this team, all things considering. I mean, nothing in this domain is going to be affected by her. But I really like to be able to put her in there because with her ult, I could just be able to recharge everyone's uh, energy. And, we, and she's just as useful against things that do not have a purple shield on it, which is like half this domain. You know, thinking about that, I might as well have put Kazuha on this team then. No! Why would you give me this piece? No! Order Kaiju. This team is broken. You get automatic healing from Jean. You get the Luke who's able to just wreck everything. One, two, three, four. Strongly, you can't get past his shield. And Raiden is just going to be able to take care of everything else as far as energy requirement. All that for no artifacts whatsoever that are going to give me any joy in my life. There is no escape. We love this game. I mean, the great thing about it is, is that you never really use Jean's ult just for healing. It's so that way you can be able to have the resistance shred 
with the VV set. Huh, it must be Shimanawa's day. I'm sorry, I thought that I was going to the Emblem Domain today. First emblem piece, and it's gonna have crit rate. Min crit rate, too. I won't complain, though. Ah, see, pieces like this kind of piss me off. You could have been able to do double crit, and I would have been able to roll on it today. See, this would have been... Th these are pieces that I'm looking for when it comes to Shenha. Energy recharge, elemental mastery is meh, you know, but, you know, depending on the person it could have been able to go onto besides Shenha, I could have been able to pass this off to someone else who might need the attack percent. So long as I had the double crit, I would have been great with it. But then it had to become super mid by having a flat stat like HP like pass them to the rules i don't make them i don't think it likes me when i'm in jeans field whenever it is i face off against it i'm starting to notice that the hilly trails are a little bit more uh smarter that doesn't make any sense i thought that they were not supposed to be smart i just love how everyone's alt is just ready on the fly like this is kind of like the perfect team if you could be able to get everyone's artifact pieces like correct you could probably wreck the abyss with with all these guys I don't know if you could be if you would want to be able to this is such a mid piece i don't know if you want to take them into floor 12 but it's still good oh my god why in your life would you want to choose to be mediocre yeah i don't know if you necessarily would want to take them into the domain for whatever reason but uh yeah i don't think this is one of the teams that anybody would ever pick to go into into the abyss because everyone's damage as far as scaling is concerned with the exception of probably Zhongli and Raiden. Everyone here would probably n figure that they wouldn't mesh together well with what you have to be able to face in in, in the uh, floor 12 abyss right now. Okay, time to convert these into three strong artifacts. Physical damage bonus. E. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Just just sad man like yesterday was such a good run like what what happened oh my good luck is gone now ain't it oh no oh guys i think we kind of messed up <sighs> all right well you know what at least we got one piece but it's like it's it's minimum roll like what do i even do with this like if i roll into crit damage like i don't even know how to feel about it. it's got flat hp and defense percent like this is not what dreams are made of all right time to give myself the uh, proper resin boost kind of need to farm crystal cores that's gonna be fun Alrighty, round two those damage numbers are beautiful hp percent sands with crit rate i'll keep it if it rolls crit damage and it continues to roll into crit although honestly hp sands are mostly for characters that are not dps oriented with i mean it, it could be a good sync shoot piece we could try that you know what i'm i'm down for this roll crit damage i'm i'm very down for this roll crit damage please that'd be great it just goes to show you the amount of pieces that you get as flowers and feathers as compared to sands goblets and surf like probably goblets for me in this account is probably the hardest thing to be able to collect i can't even begin to tell you the kinds of pieces that i get when compared to other accounts i don't think that i even have i don't think that i even have enough pyro gob for some of my characters so these are the only pyro goblets that i was able to curate in regards to rolling for characters that may possibly be actually good i think this one i got recently throughout this week's run and i was able to equip him to my diluc to be able to even out his crit rate problem is that not every single goblet is just made equal in this particular sense this one is pretty good considering the substats that are rolled on it but the crit rate and crit damage is just too wonky like i i would have hoped that at least one roll would have rolled at least into crit rate you know obviously there was two rolls that went damage i think there was another roll that went to elemental mastery and I think this was three line start, which is why we were able to gain element energy recharge and then get another roll into energy recharge. Most of the pieces that I get are three line start, so I can only get what it is that I can be able to get.
that but some of these pieces they like they really roll really really well like extremely well obviously not this don't pay attention I'm, i i may get rid of this one soon i'm not gonna lie i i have way better pieces that are outside of this i think the only reason why i kept it is because shao because i was running shao for a long time and that was the only animal damage goblet that i had with enough crit rate and every other like uh goblet that i that i got in that domain was literally for every other element except animal and then when i got this it was three line start i think and then i was able to roll it and then it rolled into the attack percent so i was just like you know what whatever like if i could be able to roll this and i could be able to get more crit rate into it more power to me and that didn't go so well min rolled into crit rate and then everything else was into energy recharge and attack still good on some characters i don't think i need because i've gotten way better animal damage goblets and i, and I think shao unfortunately has been shelved huh you know what i might want to i want to roll this i want to see how this rolls ew you give me an elemental mastery goblet and you give me those for substats this game is trolling me man So you decided to be a main stat defense percent on a set that relies on you having a lot more attack and then you decided to be super mid for no reason seriously game is trolling me i think it understands that i am trying to get best pieces possible and it is giving me it, it, it's drip feeding me Stabilize. that's exactly what this is i understand Because of course it had to be main stat defense. Of course it does. And of course you had to be cryo damage bonus, no double crit. Sure. I'm getting, I think I'm getting cranky. I don't know why. Playing as the Luke is just the best. Like he's just a character that just fits me so well. Garbage. Nani? Oh, you. Oh, no. No. Do I dare to keep this to see if it rolls into crit rate? Oh my god. I would be memed for years. Let's try it. Gotta try it. Okay, let's go ahead and trade these guys in and then we'll try and see how badly that this piece actually wants to fail me today. Three circlets. Crit rate? Okay. Okay. Crit yeah, damage? Ew. No. no. Why? You just can't <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Two circlets I can't even get rid of until I get a couple more, uh, couple more juicy pieces. Fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is just fine. Three more runs. And now you already know that the game is just trolling me at this point. Why couldn't this be on an emblem piece? Oh my god. Uh, I have to roll it. I have to. It looks so it looks so good. It looks it looks so good. Why would I not roll it? I'm I'm literally just going to feed it the same piece that failed on me. It died a horrible death. Ah. Uh, it's for Shenha. It's for Shenha. It's for Shenha. You know what? You know what? Fine. 33 crit rate? I'll take it. Fine. Like, these are not the worst stats ever. It's not like, it's not the best, but it's not the worst stats ever. This is respectable, right? Really, game? Really? Really? How hard is it to get double crit on attack percent sands on this set? And of course the finale had to be mid because of course it had to end on the defense main stat because of course it did well youtube we are about five days into this particular challenge overall we have gotten a lot of pieces that we could be able to roll and we have pretty much almost gotten all the way filled with art as far as the numbers are i kind of want to be able to continue this for the rest of the month and let's just see what we get. So for the month of January, we'll go ahead and we'll focus on making Raiden the best that she can possibly be. And if I could be able to get her constellation too, I would be much happy. But we have time for that because in this game, we've always had enough. To Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with the profile so far. And as always, I will see you all in the next nightmare. Take care.